Subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and never miss an update from Latestly. The highlights of the Delhi weather briefing are that the heat wave conditions, uh, uh, isolated pockets have been observed over uh, Gangetic West Bengal, Jharkhand, Odisha uh, and, and over Bihar. And these heat wave conditions are likely to continue over uh, these parts of uh, East India during next four days. And uh, the heat wave conditions over Central and Northwest India are likely to uh, begin from today and likely to continue during the next four five days. As far as chief amount of rainfall is concerned, so over uh, Araku uh, station of Vishakhapatnam, five centimeter rainfall has been observed. As far as synoptic systems are concerned, so a, a, a trough in mid, mid and upper tropospheric westerly is running roughly along 86 degree of longitude to the north of 26 degree of latitude and there is a cyclonic circulation in, in lower tropospheric levels over Bihar and neighborhood and a, a wind discontinuity is extending from eastern parts of Vidarbha to south Tamil Nadu across Telangana and interior Karnataka. So under the influence of these systems, uh, as uh, there is no currently any uh, active western disturbance over the region, so these heat wave conditions and the westerly winds are uh, prevailing over the uh, plains of North North India. So the heat wave conditions are likely to continue during next uh, uh, next uh, uh, four five days over most parts of Northwest India, over uh, parts of East India, and over. Uh, uh, over, over central India as well. So here we can see over Madhya Pradesh and Vidarbha uh, the heat wave conditions are likely during next five days and over Rajasthan the heat wave conditions are likely uh, during next five days over uh, Punjab and Haryana, Chandigarh and Delhi uh, the heat wave conditions are likely to begin from tomorrow and are likely to continue till 1st of May and over UP also the heat wave conditions are likely till till 30th of April and over Gangetic uh, West Bengal, Bihar, Jharkhand and Odisha the heat wave conditions are uh, likely during next four days up to up to 30th of April and from from uh, uh, from 30th of April there is a likelihood of uh, incursion of uh, uh, easterly winds over parts of uh, uh, East India and adjoining parts of East UP. So these heat wave conditions are likely to abate from 1st of May and over uh, over Western Himalayan region and adjoining plains, there is possibility of a Western disturbance which, which is likely to affect from tomorrow night, that is 28th April night and uh, under its influence, isolated to scattered uh, light rainfall is likely over uh, Western Himalayan region, that is Jammu Kashmir, Ladakh, Gilgit, Baltistan, Muzaffarabad, Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand. Uh, during uh, 28 uh, during during next five days and uh, also thunderstorm and lightning uh, is likely over these uh, uh, these three regions uh, during uh, during 28 to uh, april to first of may and there is likelihood of uh, uh, thunderstorm lightning along with isolated hailstorms as well on 29th of april over jammu and kashmir and uh, uh, himachal pradesh and over uttarakhand on on uh, 29th and 30th of April and then again a another western disturbance is likely to affect northwest India from 2nd of uh, from 2nd of May uh, and uh, which would which would uh, uh, affect uh, uh, entire uh, north uh, uh, western Himalayan region would give uh, scattered to fairly widespread light rainfall and uh, would give over plains Rajasthan, Punjab, Haryana and West UP isolated light rainfall and uh, under under its influence heat wave conditions are likely to abate and as far as uh, uh, peninsular india is concerned so over over maharashtra during next two days isolated uh, light thunderstorm activities likely light to moderate thunderstorm activities likely to continue and over uh, uh, over andhra pradesh telangana kerala tamil nadu and karnataka isolated to scattered rainfall is likely likely during next five days uh, with the thunderstorm probability over Kerala during next all five days, and over northeast India, the rainfall is likely uh, likely to increase from 29th of April when there is a probability of isolated heavy rainfall over uh, over Assam and Meghalaya on 29th, 30th uh, April, and 1st of May, and uh, there is probability of uh, uh, heavy rainfall over uh, over uh, 
at isolated places over Arunachal, Arunachal Pradesh on 30th April and 1st of May and over uh, Manipur and Tripura on 1st May uh, uh, at isolated places. And over Meghalaya, there is a probability of uh, uh, probability of uh, very heavy rainfall on 1st of May and which may extend to extremely heavy rainfall on 2nd, uh, 2nd May. Thank you.